We now live in a world where every single action every person takes on the planet every day affects the climate that every other person in the world and all future people must live in. This creates an unprecedented dilemma of collective action, meaning we all have to be part of the solution, but unless we all act, there's no incentive for any individual to act. And so countries have found it very difficult to negotiate a solution when they don't want to be the ones to take the first step without knowing everyone else can go along as well. While countries have been negotiating with each other over the past 20 years, something very interesting has been happening outside of the negotiating rooms. Cities, states, provinces, regions, private businesses, civil society groups, a whole groundswell of actors has begun taking action on climate change on their own. One of the achievements I'm most proud of is helping to support the UN to track action by cities and companies and other sorts of actors beyond the nation state but then working with governments, with the UN, with civil society groups, with these initiatives of cities and businesses, we're able to take that to a much higher level by creating a UN-led portal that tracks climate action from everyone around the world. One of our top priorities has been to improve the interaction between the UN process on the one hand and the bottom-up groundswell of action from cities and companies and others on the other hand and to make sure that the bottom-up stuff is driving the UN process and the UN process is catalyzing and facilitating the bottom-up process. The world took a big step forward in December of 2015 at the Paris Climate Summit when countries agreed to shift this regime from what you might call a regulatory model to a catalytic and facilitative model. And a big part of that shift was a recognition for the first time of the actions that cities and businesses and other kinds of actors were taking. So bringing the groundswell of climate action into the heart of the intergovernmental negotiations. To find out more and discover other bright ideas, visit Oxford University Social Sciences Division, where ideas have impact.